next. Ito, bago sa pandinig, ako rin. Panood, pang, pang tingin ko to. Bos, <laughs> Boswellia. Boswellia. I don't even know how it's pronounced. It's Bos, Boswellia. Parang bansa, Bots, ano? Sabi nila, frankincense siya. Mm. Frankincense. It's a frankincense. Uh, Boswellia or frankincense. It's another natural supplement which may be helpful in maintaining healthy joints. And katulad ng turmeric, it has anti-inflammatory properties. Frankincense, so, so how, how do you puno. ingest this? Puno. Hindi ko alam kung paano sila ina-ingest. Ang ina-assume ko is meron din silang mga Supplements tablets. Supplement na rin to. Supplement okay. na siya. So may mga tablets na sila na nilalagyan. Ah, so most of this that you're mentioning, malamang they've converted they it into supplement already. They have converted it into already. capsules or tablets okay. in order for the, I mean, for us to be able to take it easily. Kasi alam nga nga mag-harvest ka pa ng, ng frankincense Just, tapos idak-dik-dik mo siya, di ba? <laughs> So, ganyan. Now, sabi nila, it may also work in tandem with other con uh, compounds such as your curcumin or your turmeric. And a 12-week study comparing a curcumin supplement with curcumin and boswellia com combination found that <laughs> yung combination ng boswellia and your curcumin More, mas potent better. Siya. Better siya. Uh, yes. Better siya. For ilan to? 12 weeks? 12 weeks. 12 weeks. Oh, oh. Now, um, the last the one. Time. Nice yan. Is your tamarind yeah, seed. Sampalo? Sampalo! So, Doc, dyan ang nabuto ng sampalo. Seed, sabi. Oh, so, buto. buto. Buto ng sampalo. It contains a number of antioxidants which have anti-inflammatory effects again. Mm. So, if you can just imagine, damihan natin ang pagkain ng buto ng sampalo. Hindi naman natin ano kinakain, kinakain yung buto eh. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Baka dinidigdig din nila sa kainiinjest. Or, or yun nga, hanap tayo it, ng oh. supplements na may tamarind seed sa loob. So, a study in the journal Scientific Reports found that your tamarind seed extract, there you extract. go, actually works to protect the cartilage and bone by reducing inflammation and oxidative stress mm. na naman. So, if we're going to summarize all these things, um, yung apat na binanggit natin, yung tamarind seed, yung curcumin, yung methyl sulfonyl methane, at saka yung nakalimutan ko yung isa, boswellia, they're all anti-inflammatories and that's why it helps um, let's just say at saka antioxidant sila so it helps with yung progression ng arthritis kaya nire-recommend siya na itake tapos yung first two naman is a normal component of your cartilage so it promotes naman yung cartilage health so yan nice. so yan ngayon yung mga anim na na supplements commonly taken for healthy joints but so ano naman yung ano ano yung issue okay fine there are there are um, i would say that they're relatively safe because they're natural, natural. they're uh, let's just say they're herbal but syempre it's also important to make sure na when you take these supplements read your labels kasi baka mamaya may something else pa rin doon na hindi pala okay so ang iniisip po Tamarind seed lang yung iniinom mo. Yung uh -oh. pala may steroid na doon. I've learned din kay na Doc doon. Joseph. Ito natutunan din namin kay Doc Joseph na okay talaga yung mga natural. Kaya mm. lang daw, baka mamaya may issue ka sa kidney. Uh -oh. Tapos kailangan alam mo din kung gaano karami. <coughs> Excuse me po. Kung gaano karami itetake mo. Kasi baka mamaya Correct. may problema ka sa kidney. Lalong mas Correct ka. There was a natural tea that came out two, three years ago. Ang trinay ko, nag-work. Uh, so, inumin mo ito daw yung gout mo, yung pain, mawawala. So, inum ko, mga dalawang cup ng tea, nawala yung gout. Yeah. Yung pala later, lumabas sa news sa uh, other network that they're selling uh, teas in Binondo na meron na uh, tramadol. <laughs> na nakadikdik. Uh, so, may pain reliever. May, may tea siya, pero may tramadol and Kaya paracetamol na nakadikdik into the, so, the tea bag. So, kaya mag-work talaga siya oh, na pain oh. reliever. Kasi ang bilis, sabi nila, ang bilis. Ang bilis nga, Doc. Ang bilis. Eh, because may pain reliever pero, pala siya. Pero, ano pala? Oh. So, yun nga. So, again, at the end of the day, my point would be, read it's labels. okay to drink the supplements, but you better read your labels because you have to really find out what's in it also. And I'm not really against taking, I, I really tell this to patients, I'm not against alternative medicine. I'm okay with that. Ang problema ko lang is, sure ka ba? Mm -mm. Na natural talaga yung laman yan. Sure ka ba? Okay, na talagang yung sorry. traditional Chinese medicine mo, eh, walang hormone, walang steroid, walang kung ano. Kasi kung minsan, 
Hindi mo nababasa, hindi ka naman Chinese. Oh, you don't know where the source okay. is. Oh, Basta choose the purest form possible. Yes, choose the purest form and Correct. make sure that it comes from a reputable company. Yeah. Um, at hindi rin biro, ma hindi rin biro ah, mahal din tong mga oh, supplements mahal, na to. Saka dapat dok siya kung meron mga maintenance. For example, yung mga diabetic, di ba, may, may hypertension. Wag natin substitute Ask your doctor yes. kung at pwede. Wag natin isasubstitute itong mga alternative medications oh, oh. sa real... Medicine. Um, Real Tested. maintenance medications Correct. nyo kasi they're scientifically proven, they're scientifically tested. And kung baga parang for me, right, it's mas supplement. mahal pa yung alternative yeah. na yan kesa dun sa, kesa sa main mo. medications mo. So medyo dapat nag-iisip tayo sa ganyan. Pero kung kunyari healthy ka naman, may konting pain ka lang dito, wala kang ibang sub, um, maintenance medications, by all means, you can take Correct. this. Pero as, as Beth has said, mag-consult pa rin tayo sa doctors natin para alam natin na safe talaga yung iniinom. Ayun, sa mga doktor, bumuti.